Hey you going guys, um, this video I'll show you how to make your own RCA to auxiliary power, um, audio converter. Uh, now you can, they're really inexpensive, you know, you can get them on eBay for maybe two or three bucks. But if you've got parts at home, why not make it yourself, you know, save a lot of money. Now, most of us would probably have one RCA cable sitting at home from old DVD player or something. So you just need two wires. All you gotta do is strip one end, and you'll have three wires. Um, so these two wires would have this copper wires in it, and then uh, two colored wires. So you wanna strip the colored wire as well, and then both of the copper bar wires you wanna combine them. Okay, so like I've done here. So you combine the copper wires, and the other two wires you combine them to, or so here we are, they both combined. Now, the other thing that you have to do is get yourself an old aux cable. Now, I've used, used a female aux cable because I want to be able to have a freedom to change the length of the aux cable so I can just insert another auxiliary uh, audio jack in it. That way I can, you know, shorten the length of the actual cable and then extend it on my desire. So when you, either if it's a male uh, auxiliary cable or a female, you'll have three wires in it. Now, red one would generally be the power and the black one would be the ground. Now the third wire, white one, we don't really need this because uh, it's, um, uh, it's a ground, so we don't need that. So I'm gonna chop that one off. So the white one is gone. So we just got black and red. Now what I might recommend is before you start chopping wires away, it's better for you to try it. <clears throat> so the best thing to do would be just get the red one. The, like in my case, it's the red one. That's, it has to be combined with these two colored wires. So, so the red one from the auxiliary and the, the two colored wires on the RCA. I combine them both. Combine both of them. Um, So that is that, so that's done. By the way, I'm making this one for uh, my car because my car comes with the old RCA style, RCA connector instead of auxiliary. And uh, it's a 2013 car and it's almost stupid why they put that in. And yeah, and on the two copper wires in the RCA, they connect to the second auxiliary cable here. Okie dokie, so this is what it should look like. So the copper wires on the RCA, they connect to the black one on the auxiliary cable and the two colored wires connect to the red one. So this is what it should look like. So you got your RCAs and that, and now I'll be able to connect my auxiliary in it. I'll show you, uh, I'll take it to my car and I'll show you how it works. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna use some electrical tape and uh, yeah, just cover both of those wires up. So I'm just gonna pause the video to shorten the video time. Okay, so I have uh, taped the connections here. So since they're all secure now, I'm gonna get some more tape and uh, wrap it around the both cables to make it a stronger joint. You can also go ahead and um, solder them if you want. I'm just not gonna bother because a small cable and uh, it's just gonna sit in my glove box so I'm gonna quickly pause the video again uh, and tape it okay so this is what the joint looks like now we're gonna go to the car and test it out alrighty so here's you can see Subaru for some reason decided to put RCA connectors in it and uh, that reason would be because I called Subaru they wanted me to pay $450 basically for this but the only thing is that goes behind uh, uh, the center unit. So the want of $450, I'm like, hell no. I'm not paying $450 for a bloody RCA converter. I'm gonna make my own. And even on eBay, they're like only two, three bucks. So I don't know how they, they justify a $450 price tag on a cable. So basically it doesn't really matter which, so on my car, the left one, left two ones are for the audio and the, the right one is for, um, for the video so they're in there right so they're both connected and I just gotta get my 
Oh shit, I forgot my auxiliary cable. Hold on a sec. Okay, so here's my auxiliary cable. Oh, where did that go? So I've got my female connection side here. I'm gonna put the auxiliary in here. Come on. That's it. It's a satisfying click. So as you can see, my RCA is connected there. And here is my auxiliary cable. And I'm gonna hook that into my iPod. Okay, so that's in. So you can see my car's on auxiliary mode now. So that's that button. And it should be. There we go. There you go. So as you can see, it works. So that's how you make your RCA connector for your car. Don't go pay 450 bucks or something stupid like that for your car. Um, I'm sure it's not just Subaru. Some of the other car manufacturers probably do the same thing. So uh, make sure you don't get ripped off and make it at home. If you haven't got the, the parts at home, just get one off eBay. It's only like two bucks. I just didn't want to wait three weeks from China for it to come over. And besides, I had the parts at home and I love DIY. So yeah, here you go, guys. I hope it works for you. Enjoy riding.